Uh, I contracted a bacterial staph infection from my stupid saltwater tank, and um, not happy. Uh, not happy at all. This two, the last two to three weeks has been a uh, fucking nightmare. Um, and I've been having nightmares. I cannot sleep. So this is part of the day when usually I get a little more energy. So I just wanted to do a quick video. I'm home, obviously. I'm a little bored. So I wanted to show you the gloves that came. <coughs> Got these on Amazon. I'll put this in a link. To the, in the video, liquid proof nitrile coating. I looked through a lot of gloves and these ones are the best that I found. They are shoulder length. They have excellent grip, chemical resistant, cotton lined for comfort. So they don't have a smell to them. They got this fine texture. Okay. Uh, they're a nice solid rubber it's not thick it's not thin it's, it's just perfect um, this this is not going to hurt you when you put it on it's not going to cut off the circulation the inside is a nice cloth and it will go up to your shoulder all right uh, so that's nice. That's what I'm going to be using when I work on the tank from now on. Nine times out of ten, you're going to stick your hand in your aquarium. Uh, you're you're going to you're just asking for problems, especially when you remove a sand bed and kick up all that nasty stuff like a dummy like me, and especially when you've got multiple cuts on your hand from the rock that you're touching like me while you're removing said sand bed. What a dumbass. So, like I said, this is the part of the day where I seem to get a little more energy. Right now, uh, of course, my body constantly swings from very hot and I have to take all the layers of clothes off to violent chills and I cannot get warm uh, and achy joints and everything. So it's like crazy influenza symptoms and fever. I've had a fever for six days straight now. It's not breaking. It lowest it gets is like... 99.4 right now it's like 101.1 um, I guess I'm getting used to it I have a severe allergic reaction to the antibiotic I was on um, it's called sulfa meth so the sulfa drug s-u-l-f-a it's really nasty and evil for a lot of people and I'm one of them so last night I completely exploded in a rash So, I'm not going to show you now, but my face looks completely sunburned. It feels sunburned, and it itches at the same time. It's like I have the measles everywhere. So, I'm fighting everything right now. As a reminder, bacterial staph infections, they're, they could be common. I've never had it before. But the, the, the staph bacteria does live on your skin. And if you have a cut, you can f fight it off. But sometimes you can't, and that sometimes is now, and it, it went nuts, and that's because I had my hand in the tank when I had multiple cuts on my hands. What? What do you want? You want to go outside? Of course you do. Of course you do, because it's raining and it's muddy. Because that's what I feel like doing, cleaning you up. Uh, so today I got Benadryl, Zyrtec, and Zantec for this explosive rash that looks like the measles because I have a severe allergic reaction to this self-antibiotic drug. Never again will I take this crap. Um, it's been fatal in some people, and if you look up sulfa drug or Bactrim, 
I believe is the other name for it. Sulfa is the generic term. Uh, many people have horror stories on this drug, and I do too. So that's it. Um, I'll have a link to these gloves in the video description. As with all the things that I use, sorry if I've said that. I can't really remember what I've said. But uh, take care. Thank you for the well wishes. Um, I'll see you guys soon. No Reef Radio this Friday. I'm just going to chill out. i got to beat this thing, and I will talk to you guys later. I have a GFO reactor coming from Bulk Reef Supply that I bought. I always have to say that because no one gives me anything. Um, and if they do, I'll certainly do a video on it. Um, so, I take that back. The mag float people gave me a big mag float once, and that was awesome of them. So, that's all I can think of. I'm going to beat that green hair algae. Um, tank lights, they're off once every two days. I turn it on then for four hours to feed the fish. I feed them once every two days. Um, I'm just letting it run its course and just letting it do its thing until I feel like working on it until I'm better. So, thanks, guys. Uh, hopefully you're all well, and thanks again for the, the nice comments and the, the well wishes. Um, I think of you guys, and I appreciate your support, and I'll see you next time. Always wear gloves. Always wear gloves. Never put your hand in the tank again, okay? All right, guys. I will see you later.